Okay, I am like a five-year-old on Christmas morning. Today is the unboxing of The Remarkable 2. To even make this week harder, we shoot all of our video on Monday and naturally this arrived at my house Monday afternoon. I've had to look at this thing all week with my knife right next to it and resist the temptation to crack it open. Now, before I get into the unboxing, I have a very special announcement. So we are going to be launching a brand new small business mentoring program before the end of the year. We're putting it together right now. It's going to be amazing. We're, we're pulling all of our individual one-on-one -on -one mentoring programs together and we're putting it together. Everything that's been working with all of our clients, it's gonna be awesome. If you wanna get on the wait list, click on the link below so that you will not miss out on finding out more about this opportunity. All right, guys, here we go. It's Christmas morning. I have my Matterhorn utility pocket knife here. And this is the marker. This is the case, their fancy name, book folio. We don't say that in Indiana. This is the case. And the tablet is in here. So I'm taking the accessories, accessories, how do you say that? Uh, I'm setting them over to the side. I'm diving right into this baby. So here we go. Former practicing dentist, I'm surgically removing the plastic. Oh my gosh. Even smells good. Tear here. God, I love the packaging. These guys are pro. These guys are pro. Somebody really did their homework. All right. Ooh, talk about packaging. That's beautiful. Ooh, there it is. Here we go. We designed Remarkable to not get in your brain's way to help you think. I'll tell you, I've made a bunch of videos already of Remarkable One. This beauty has saved me. I'm telling you, it saved me from going crazy. What do we have over here? Uh, welcome to the Better Thinking Community. Quick start guide, warranty data. Well, Let's fire this little beauty up. Power button. Oh, here we go. It's booting up. This looks familiar. Write, sketch, or scribble below. Oh, they're gonna make me open up the marker. Oh, look at how awesome they are. Put a little tab here so I can just slip it right out of the box. All right. So this is the new stylus. These are probably my replacement tips. Yes. Now it's interesting, I have the old stylus here. I thought it was kind of cool in the old stylus, they had a place here to store a spare. Now, honestly, uh, it's not like it runs out and becomes unusable in some split second. So I always had a spare in this pen, but it's not like it ever uh, bailed me out of a situation. So they did away with that feature here on this pen, and this one now has an eraser on the end. So let's see here. Now that's interesting. It definitely has a different feel than my Remarkable One. I think, I 
I don't know, it might be imagination. It seems like this surface writes just a little slicker. And, all right, and the stylus works on both of them. So I guess that's not a big surprise. I'm happy about that. Although I will tell you, my remarkable one is going to Abby. She's already called dibs on it. All right, so let's set this over to the side and keep going. Let's hit continue. Canvas display creates a true paper experience. Every now and then your display will refresh itself. Give it a try and see for yourself. So you hit refresh. It kind of blinks. Now that is extremely, like 10 times faster than the refresh feature on the one. Okay, so the packaging is really cool, but it's kind of getting in my way right now. So I'm gonna take it out of the box. Oh, wait a minute, I'll bet this is the charging cord. Oh, oh, look at that, they thought of everything. Perforated it. Yep, charging cord. Oh, and this is a USB-C charger, like my Android phone, uh, not the micro USB like the other. So now I can just use one charger for both. That's really cool for me, that's very convenient. All right, so now let's get the box out of the way here. We'll keep our instructions and I'm gonna take the warranty card and all that and just put that way over there. All right, so uh, we're not gonna uh, take the time to connect this up to Wi-Fi. We're gonna skip the Wi-Fi setup. Um, skip the Wi-Fi setup. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. You did it, your Remarkable's ready to go. Now let's get you started with some key features. Well, I'll tell you, this thing goes fast. It, it is noticeably faster than the Remarkable version number one. It's just, it just goes. With Remarkable one, you'd have to sit there for a minute while it was kind of like thinking how, what it was supposed to do next. So already I'm super excited. All right, here you can filter your files. <clears throat> set view modes and access settings. Okay, so this is all completely set up. Um, I didn't know if the software was gonna be different or not, if, if the Remarkable 2 was gonna have a different look. Right now, it appears like the software is exactly the same. So I'm just gonna skip through all of this. Yep, this looks exactly the same as on my Remarkable version one. The folders, the notebooks, I already got that figured out. Uh, content menu. Got this. Yep, we already found the, the button. So let's start creating. All right, good, so quick sheets. So navigate within the documents, S swipe left, swipe right, up and down. That feature is different, the up and down to close. That wasn't there before, you had to hit the home button. See, and in the, um, with the remarkable, with Remarkable 1, this, this would scroll left, this would scroll right, this would take you to your home page. So now to swipe down from the top to close, to close you just hit the home button. So that's a little bit different and you can see there are no buttons down here. So now this is all going to be dependent upon moving my finger around on the screen to navigate. So that's actually really cool and it's going to be much faster. All right, this is all the same. Um, convert to text and send. That feature was here. Send an email. That is really an awesome feature. I can make a note and email it. That was also available on the version one. Uh, the different layers, that was all, that's all the same. Document settings, this is all the same. All right, good. So it looks to me like the the software is exactly the same on both versions and both models. Now there is a little symbol here that I'm curious about. I don't know what that little dot means here. Are these are the same pen strokes. That's exactly the same. Oh, the little dot means that I haven't looked at that feature yet. That's pretty snazzy. This is all the same. And yeah, the dot disappears when I open it. The eraser is the same. We're gonna check the eraser out here for a minute. And 
This is really an awesome feature that they did come out with one of the, the more recent software upgrades. So you can have content here. Oop, let's get it off your eraser. Let's put on some marker so you can see it. So I can take that and now I can move it wherever I want. That's a really cool feature. I can cut and paste so it disappears and I can move it up there. I can move it to a different piece of paper. I use that a lot. That was really a sweet upgrade. So one feature of this pen that I've been very excited about is the erase function and it's not working. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed, not in the, in the features, the functionality, but I was all excited about having a stylus that erased, and I just found out that I have marker, and there's a marker plus. So now, I was so excited to order this, literally, I, I woke up, I got it in the middle of the night, I checked my iPad, I get this email, here comes Remarkable 2, didn't think twice, ordered it instantaneously, I'm in batch two, you know, just missed batch one, all excited, can't wait, and I don't know if the marker plus <laughs> was available and I missed it in my middle of the night stupor, uh, or if this is the only marker. So right now, as we're filming, Abby is ordering me the marker plus because I really want that feature. It is a little bit annoying to have to come over here and hit the erase and then decide, you know, erase the selection. And so that's been a little bit annoying. I was very excited just to be able to go like this. So this is not their fault. I don't know if I just missed it or maybe the Marker Plus wasn't available when I was ordering my batch to Remarkable Unit. Okay, so this is not a disaster, only minorly disappointing. Uh, it's like, you know, the, the electronic item that I got on Christmas morning, uh, dad didn't have any batteries and now I can't use it, but that's okay. I can still look at the box. I can still play with it. All right, so enough of the Christmas morning analogy. Uh, let's see. I'm also very anxious to, to get a hold of this case, the folio. We don't say that in Indiana, I'm sorry. Because this is magnetic. They are so cool. Look at this. They give me a little tab here to pull it out. Sweet. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. Just so it doesn't collapse in shipping. They put that little piece of paper in there. And, oh, look at that. It jumps right on there. Boy, that is nice. And now, oh, look at that. Nice. So, just anywhere or, nope, near the top. So, I don't think it works down here. Nope, has to be right up there. My only concern, my only concern is how strong is that magnet? See, what I actually really liked about this old case is it had a place for the pen. I know it's not going anywhere because without this, it uh, doesn't work. So my only concern, and we'll just only time will tell, is that this doesn't get bumped in my briefcase or something or while I'm carrying it. So I'm just gonna have to have a little attention if I'm carrying it to keep my hand covering the pen so nothing bumps up against it. But that being said, this is super, super nice, super professional. Let's get this off the screen. Yeah, this is, um, Hmm, what is that? Oh, there we go. This is really, it seems just a little bit slicker. I, I really like uh, that you do get a little bit of friction with it. It makes it feel like you're actually a pencil on a piece of paper. Um, I think it, hmm, I don't know. You can maybe use, I think, honestly, 
I think this feels more like paper. I think this feels more like paper. Now it could just be that I'm using the new stylus on the Remarkable 1. Hmm. I like the feel of Remarkable 2 better. I really do. It feels, to me, if this feels more like paper. So, those are the basic features here. I think um, we pretty much done the unboxing. Now, what I am obviously going to do is I'm going to have to get this hooked up to the Wi-Fi. I'm sure there's a way to transfer my data, whether the software that I have on my iPad or the software that I have on my PC at home, to download all the valuable data that I have in Remarkable 1 onto Remarkable 2. So, in the next video, then I will have used it for a week or two, uh, gotten myself all oriented, and then I'll come back and I'll let you know but right now, this is super sweet. Oh, here's the other thing that I wanted to mention is that, that I really like is when using the Remarkable One, and it may not seem to be all that big of a difference, sometimes it just seemed like the, the page was a little bit cramped. Like, mm, I wish it was a little bit wider. And I was thinking earlier just to compare it to a sheet of paper. So this is the Remarkable One, and this is the Remarkable Two. So the Remarkable Two, immediately, I like a little better because it's a little bit wider, and it seems like I've got a little bit more space to use. Uh, a lot of my functionality is here. I'm not an artist. I don't sketch. Uh, I do a few diagrams every now and then, but mostly mine is notes of conversations and client calls and that kind of thing. So I like that this is just a little bit wider as compared to the Remarkable One. So in the next video, I will have used this for a week or two, and I'll come back and be able to do a little bit better comparison and see if there are any other new features that I can fill you in about. Okay, so... Uh, you may want to order one of these units, so just a quick price check. Uh, I went online, the one is now available for $299, and it comes with the stylus that I've been using now for, I don't know what, a year, year and a half. So the new unit is $399, and I've just discovered I do not have the stylus with the eraser. Uh, that is the marker plus, this is the marker. So the marker, you order the unit for $399, the marker is $49, and the marker plus is $99. So, uh, and also you're in batch 11, which they are now saying batch 11 is early December. So here we are late October, and I'm batch two. So uh, they're gonna, obviously they got the production uh, cranking up again, and you should be all set. Thanks for joining us today. I'm really excited to use my new toy.